Oh yeah. What are the two weapons you would like to have if you are caught in a zombie apocalypse? One of mine would be obviously be the flamethrower. I mean, come on. Just been able to burn them all up. Oh, does it get better than this? Well, maybe it does. The second one is a chain gun. Chain gun. And of course, a lot of ammo. Look at this. And uh, one of the problems in Seven Days to Die, at least vanilla, is that you don't have this one. How many chain guns do you see when you walk around and you go do your looting, do your crafting? None. But this is what you want to have all, like I said. The chain gun, just setting them all on fire. Ooh, look at that. Nice. But now you can have it in Seven Days to Die. Simple mod. So welcome to another guide in Seven Days to Die, and this time I am covering firearms. It's number two by our very own Jake. He's uh, one of the modders that I've covered a few times before, and he does some awesome things. And this is an updated modlet. Previous one was obviously just the firearms, and now this is a firearms too. And it's easy to install. Now it will work on on both single player and multiplayer. Uh, just have to make sure that if you're doing it on either single player or multiplayer. The client needs to have it and the server needs to have it. If both have it, not an issue, it will work. Now I'm going to leave the uh, the link in the description so you can go here and get your download. So just looking into, it has some basic stuff. Of course, he even has a basic wiki. He will tell you about localization. This is fairly uh, important if you want everything to be nicely localized. You have to run a bat file. You don't have to, it will work. Just it won't have all the descriptions in them. Now it's some things about if you are updating with old versions of firearms, I would suggest try and avoid that. It will work, but you can have some issues and it has to install install instructions as well, but it's very straightforward and I'm actually going to do it as well. Now, let's see the wiki. Let's look at the wiki. So you can go into the wiki and it will tell you a little bit about how the guns work, the ammo, the mods, workbenches, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of things in there and how to craft and how you can learn about the blueprint. So there's a lot of information in there. Go through it and play around with it a little bit. Now, let's do the important thing. And I've covered this in the, in the past and it's actually really straightforward, but I'm going to do it again. So make sure you follow along and hopefully you enjoy this video enough to try it out yourself. And of course, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell on my channel so you get notified on all my videos. Now you do a download and you do download the zip. That's the important thing. It's important you do that. Once you've gotten that one downloaded, you go to your Steam, right click, hit properties. On your properties, you go to local files and you do a browse local files and it will open up your seven days to die folder. You need to, if you don't have it, create a folder called mods and you go into it and you put in your zip file. And this is the, well, this is the zip file. You basically just extract it and you know, which you can do with depending on if what, what uh, programs you have. If you double click or whatever, you should can go in and you just copy it out. And when it's done, It'll be in here and it should look like this. It should be the mods and the firearms master. If you end up with a double folder structure, just copy things up one step because it has to be mods, firearms master, and then these ones. And this is all the stuff you want to localize it. Double click the bat file, follow the instructions, and you're pretty much done. And again, if you're doing this on dedicated server, make sure you have copied all this over for your server because it's needed on both client and server. But that's it. Really easy install like most modlets are. So you've installed it, you've started a new game, and well, then, then what do you do? Well, there's a few things. Uh, all, a lot of the weapons and the ammo will be added to the different loot tables, which means that if you go around uh, doing your explorations and uh, finding things, you will be finding all these cool guns. Of course, you might want to craft them as well and do some further upgrading, crafting of mods, etc. And to do that, there are two ways. and. Uh, I'll cover a little bit uh, both of them, but uh, just in a general sense, either one, you go to the Magnus Firearms, there's a new perk tree, and you can buy these perks using your points. And this will, will unlock, as you see just looking at this one, there's 10 levels, it will unlock all these weapons one by one. 
you also have the crafting which is where you get the workbench you get the ammunition workbench modification and parts workbench research table and nothing don't do this one then you have the mods where you unlock all the different mods hair sites holo sites uh a cook scopes blah 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 magazines you know a lot of different cool stuff and then you have all the parts now the parts are basically once you use it in order to craft the guns so that's the one way of doing it you unlock it secondly is that you can actually find them so let me see fire work bench schematic so this is the workbench schematic so let's see you found this one and you can you can find this one as well or you can find this one all these ones are available for finding and the cool thing about that is that now i have this one in my hand and let's, you'll see if i had these parts i could actually craft it but it's because i'm holding it now if i go out and do like this you go into workbench you'll see it's no longer craftable what's happening well it's actually dependent on you actually holding it so again i go in here do workbench you'll see now this one is craftable and the same thing for the ammo and uh, let's do that you'll see now the ammo one is craftable so even if you don't unlock it with perks and you'll see i haven't actually unlocked these with perks if you find the schematics and they can be found and i think you could even buy them you can craft it anyway so you can play this whole modlet without spending any points however it's actually easier by just unlocking it because otherwise you have to go and find everything and a, a random uh, generation uh, you never know what's going to happen it can take a long time before you find the things you want to have so let's go and craft one of these so let's assume that for find the sake that we are not investing in perks but we found this one so i go to my normal workbench which is obviously this one and i search for it and i do a crafting Pretty easy so I let that one go and then i found this one and this is the mod while well, the workbench where you craft the mods and i can craft this as well oh i'm so lucky and of course because i'm lucky i also have the ammo workbench and i'll be crafting that as well and of course it's because i have this schematic so it's pretty convenient if you're playing multiplayer if someone actually has these you can share it and craft your own now but maybe i was couldn't find them and then go in i go in here and I basically just buy them. Of course, this one is dependent on, you have to have this one pumped up as well. So, you know, I'll, I'll do that as well. And I'll, let me see, let me buy a couple more and I'll buy this one. There is a research table as well, but we'll get to that later. Okay, we have the first thing done and this is the gun workbench. So we're gonna place it down here and you access it with E and you'll see, well, it looks, fairly complicated doesn't it well it, it does and it is there are some tools in here and uh, putting this one in makes some of the other stuff easier to craft uh, you know schematics and ammo and everything but you, you'll be finding these as you just loot you'll end up with uh, quite a few of them um the sorting is well you have all the guns you have the blocks there is some extra things like ammo cases and i can craft that one and this is of course you can stuff things inside maybe you don't want to have just a normal normal as uh, chest but you want to have like an ammo case and of course just normal i can i can put in just some ammo or you know whatever else i want uh, so there's some of these ones there's also some targets if you want to use these ones and actually for alpha 18 he's going to make this even better if you want to sort based on the category of the weapon you can do that as well you have the pistol smg shotguns etc and um there's of course the special one which uh, you have the flamethrower and there uh, i believe oh there's a laser rifle Ooh, never, never use these ones so some of this where you might think like, hey this is not quite appropriate why should you have a laser rifle and i've actually never used it and uh, then you simply don't use it you'll take it out on the xml which of course you don't have to just that's what i i end up just ignoring them but let's say i want to have a an ar-15 now i need to have all these different parts so you can find these parts or you can craft them yourself so it's back to sort of the pre alpha 16 where you had to go and find different parts and use those ones to craft now, how do you, if you can't find them or you can't find all of them, then how, how do you get them? And that's where you have the mod workbench. And I'll open that one up and you'll see here's where all the mods are. And this is where you get the like ACOGs or let's see the banana clip and the, the, the drum mags, etc. So you craft them here, but you also craft, let's see here, all parts and let's do the low tier parts. The different parts that you're needing in order to craft your weapons so you have to check to see okay fine 
I need a medium receiver, medium barrel, medium stock, medium grip, and, me and the trigger. And then you go here to craft them. And of course, under medium. And so it's the receiver, stock, grip, rails, I don't think rails, etc. And as I'm doing this, you'll notice that, hey, you need a side pusher. And this is where these things are going to be required. In order to do some of these things, you see, you read there are various things that you need in order to craft it so you're going to need to find these ones before you get deeply into it so it's not just as simple as in alpha 17 where it's say i want to make an smg i basically just add ah, just some steel and generic mechanical parts etc and i can craft it no 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 it's a lot more involved than that you have to get all these parts and to get these parts you need to get more things for the workbench Okay, so now I've been out looting and I found all these things. Oh, I'm I'm I mean, I'm really lucky when I'm playing this game. No, of course, I have, since I'm just making a video, I just modded them in because that's a lot easier. But you do find them when you're out and about. And either way, so now you'll see. Let's say uh, the the receiver and it says I need ten of the scrap gun. What is that all you need? But what's this? Here's a second one. And you'll see here. Ah, if you don't have well, sorry. If you have this one, you can actually just craft it using 10 scrap guns. It's pretty easy, right? But that's only if you have this the receiver, which is this one. If you don't have this one, well, what do you do then? Well, then you actually need to make sure that you have unlocked well, the mod itself from here. You see this way unlocked. So let me just unlock a bunch of these ones. Let me just pump all this up. I get everything just to make it a little bit faster. So if I get to the medium receiver here, I assess here. Ah. So I unlock this one as well. Let me not forget. And now if I go to the medium receiver, you'll see I can either do it using scrap gun parts, which is the one that uses this one. If I take this one out, you'll see uh let's see receiver this one it no longer shows if i have it i can do that as well so it's pretty uh pretty convenient that way so if you find this one it's easier to craft you just use the craft the scrap guns if you don't then you need to unlock the parts so you can actually craft it in the end it ends up being the exact same thing so it really depends but how do you get these scrap guns and scrap parts and everything and that's actually pretty straightforward let me see if I can find uh, an appropriate stuff. Let's do the flamethrower and this one. And you basically, you, let's say you found this one and you basically scrap it. That'll give you a bunch of scrap gun stuff. You see, scrap gun. If you do that with schematics, uh, meaning that, let's say I scrap this one, I'll get some scrap schematic. Now, if I want to have some scrap ammo, of course, you scrap some of the ammo. It's pretty straightforward, right? So if you find a few guns and you end up finding quite a few of them, you can just scrap them and use them to craft more parts. So we need to get this one. We need to get the, let's see, the barrel, the grip, the trigger. Uh, what else do we need to get the stock? So let me get all these parts and we'll put it all together. Okay, I found everything, or rather I craft everything. So I have all these parts and you see, now I can make the AR-15 and oh, I can also make the M16 because they are slightly different levels. Let me see if I can show that we have on level, where's my AR? Okay, level five, you get the AR15 and then you get the M16 on, where is the M16? On level six, because it's slightly better. So depending on what you have unlocked or what schematics you have, you can craft them. And uh, let's see. If you find, let's say you haven't unlocked everything, but you find a schematic, let's see if I can find an M16 schematic, this one, just like we did as far as crafting. If I do this, even if I haven't unlocked it because I'm holding it in my hand, it will actually unlock crafting the M16 as well. But now that I have it unlocked through all my perks, it doesn't really matter, but that's one way of doing this as well. So. I do a craft and I will get my M16. Cool, right? And so I used all these items as well. You'll notice that I placed this one and there was a slight delay. And you will see that uh, both single player and multiplayer because 
whenever you access it in your hotbar, it's loading in this file, the asset file, which takes a little bit of time. But, ooh, doesn't this look awesome? And, uh, well, I have no ammo for it. You hit, hit R, you can see what kind of ammo it takes. So let me just get myself some 223 ammo, and I think it's, let's get this one. And I hold R, and I select it. Let's run out here. And this is my M16. And you will notice, you'll see it actually do it ejects the casing on the right side, which is quite cool actually. It's a small thing, um, but it's cool. And the whole thing shakes a little bit as you're shooting it. So now we have a weapon. And of course, all the other ones are crafted exactly the same thing. Large weapon, if you want to make the MRAD or M92 sniper, I think it's a sniper anyway, it works exactly the same thing. Now, and the same thing for the, the parts, you get the, spe the specific parts, the high tier parts, if it's a higher tier weapon. And uh, what about mods? So let's go into mods and that's under the attachment here. So let's say we want to have a banana clip and I don't have, let me get the duct tape. So I go in here and I craft the duct tape. Well, maybe I'll get a bayonet and quick mag. Nah, let's not do the quick map, but maybe we want a scope. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want this one. Parasite. Maybe I want the blue dot. Oh, I want a oh, old steel. Of course, normally you wouldn't just cheat in like me, but it's just faster. So now I'm going to craft these ones and it'll take a little bit of time for these ones to be ready. So while we're doing that, let's go look at and let's get rid of this one. How do you make ammo and some tips and there's my tip bullet tip bullet tip casing and the tip now this is the ammo maker and it's actually pretty cool and again just like anything else it will show you all these things and it has all these and we're looking for two two three and you'll see it has this two two three schematic because i've unlocked it just like i showed you before if i don't have a c223 schematic if i haven't actually uh, unlocked that one i can still make the 223 schematic uh, the bullets if i have the schematic just by holding it in the hand it will show up as something that you can craft here 223 it will show up so craft it i just need these things which is the standard because it's 223 and i craft it what you'll notice is that one of these gave me four so if i do 100 or oh, let's do 99 I'm going to end up with 400 rounds. So what this means is that what Jake has done is rebalance the bullets a little bit such that you get more bullets for the same uh, resources. And I personally like this. You can change that around if you want to. And this one gives four per each. Uh, some of the heavier, um, heavier bullets, like the, I think this 762, uh not this one uh this one this one will give you only three for instance so it depends on the caliber of it as well so it means that you end up with a lot more ammo than just using the vanilla guns and i like that because if you're having all these guns uh, you definitely want to have well more ammunition and imagine uh, and this is actually five millimeter i believe for the chain gun imagine if each of these rounds and the damage is not extremely high if you look at uh, the normal this uh, 223 does more and i think that yeah, i have a 762 it does definitely a lot more can you imagine this one if this one took one gunpowder per each and one casing and one bullet tip i mean it wouldn't be doable it's you know, you know that you'd be using up here's 100 here's 200 rounds that's 200 gunpowder it just doesn't make sense so if i do the five the five millimeter here this one if I craft it, I get eight. Uh, so it's again, it's it's he's balanced it depending on the damage and what kind of caliber it is, just to give you a bit more ammo so you can actually use it. Because otherwise, it would be pointless if you never could use it. So my mods that I crafted are now completed. So let me grab them, and we go to the weapon, and we do the usual modify. And you'll see it's actually looking quite differently here. So what Jake did because he wanted to be able to put more mods, not that you have tons of them. He's actually changed this one around. So let's put in the 
the clip, which increases the magazine by double here, different sight, the bayonet, and of course they all do different things. Um, and this is the vanilla silencer, and he has his own there, a suppressor, and you can put that on as well. Pretty cool, right? So now I just reload, and you'll see, nice, it's got a different sight on it. You see it's got a, just a very slight zoom level on it. I don't know how much it is, but it's very slight. But look how awesome it looks. I love this one. And you also see, of course, that the damage has gone up because it's been using all these ones. And the old mods are also compatible in general. Of course, you might not be able to put all on all of them. But now it's 40 rounds in the magazine. And you'll hear that when it sounds differently as well. Pretty cool. So what about the last thing, the research table? So I'm going to show you that one as well. So we're going to put one down here. Now, of course, it's crafted like everything else. And you'll see, oh, this is where you get all this stuff. So how, how, how do you do these things? Well, you need to find these three books. And they all correspond to, if you might want to make ammo schematics, you need the ammo manual. If you want to make gun schematics, you make the, this while you get the gun manual and mod manual. So let me pop them all in here. So because I have the gun gun manual, I can now turn my flamethrower into a schematic. So I have this on one of my inventory, of course, and I do, if I can't find it, I just search for it. Flamethrower schematic, and you'll see I need a flamethrower. I need some paper, I need some scrap schematic. Of course, like I mentioned, you get the scrap schematic by just trashing or scrapping other schematics you get. And you craft it. And now I have a flamethrower schematic. And why would you want to scrap your flamethrower just to make a schematic? And well, that's where it gets interesting. We would then go to our workbench and we want to make our flamethrower. Now, of course, you still need to have these things in order to be able to craft it. So that means that you still need to be able to unlock or craft or find these in this part. In this case, it's the some of these ones like the flamethrower tank, high tier, I mean the large receiver, etc. But again, if you have the schematic, you can actually do that from scrap. Otherwise, you just have to find it, etc. So assuming we have all this one, I craft it and now I have a flamethrower. And it just happens to be slightly better. So you can see how this all comes together. You find schematics. You can scrap them for just generic scrap schematic paper. And you can turn your weapons into gun schematics or you can find this gun schematics and the mods and the part schematics and craft the guns that way or if you like to do it the perk way you just buy all the perks and spend the points but if you just like to sort of do it the role play way where you feel that you should be finding everything all the parts one by one then you can just do it that way instead so let's uh, try out some of these mods and some of these weapons on some zombies and let me go down there and uh, turn the light on again we now have, like I showed before, the M16, and uh, it's nice, it's really nice. Of course, it's a basic weapon. Uh, we have, let's say here, we have a grenade launcher. Of course, let's make sure we are reloading it, and somewhere there. Oh, that went way too far. Okay, that's much better. Let's try to not shoot it too far. Oh yeah, it's a little bit difficult to aim at. Oh, but that went really well. Oh, let's run back a bit. We have, oh, and of course, if you're waiting for Alpha 18 with a machine gun, of course, Jake has made one of these. Actually, he's made a few. And I put on a different scope as well. This is the Alien High Tech Scope. And uh, obviously, it has a huge capacity because I put on the, let's say, the drum mag as well. So it's got tons of ammo in the magazine so you can just stand here and just shoot all day and of course it has quite oh oh i don't know what I, what did i hit there uh, i hit something can't remember Ooh, i got spooked there he snuck up on me now of course it's slow to walk with and slow to actually shoot with but uh it's nice if you need to lay down a lot of fire now let's uh you die there let's put in a bit more what can we do let's do some cheerleaders all right now this is the laser rifle and look how awesome it looks and this is i think why why i made that alien scope and uh it's got this really cool 
kind of uh, laser beam. It's slightly slower than it's shooting. I think there might be some limitation, but it does awesome damage, but only has five before you have to reload. And oh, very slow. Come on. Ah. At least you can shoot. And of course, you might not want to use this one in the game, but this is a good showcase for some things. He was playing around with having a, a, a different kind of shot, and it does obviously a small area effect, as you can see, and a re revolving revolving drum. So yeah, and of course, the chain gun. Ah, who doesn't like that one? So, uh, of course, well, me, she did seem to care. Go on. No, no, no. Okay, let's reload. Ah, burn to death. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a guide of how you can install and use and play around with JX Firearms 2. And uh, if you like this one, try it and out in Alpha 17. And uh, stay tuned for Alpha 18 because Jake has uh, taken his firearms modlet, he's taken, I believe, his melee stuff, and he's put it all together into one so you have easy access to all his weapons. And it's going to be awesome. And oops, I think I was shooting with this one. I made some holes in the ground but anyway that's gonna be it and let's see yep it does destroy the asphalt as well as long as you well you hit it yep looks okay i'll catch you again special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel if you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos do follow the patreon link